church. A Christian thinker, a pastor. I also like to see myself as a moral leader. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I pray you will be blessed as you listen to this message right now. Because government is not a business center. Romans 13 says every government should make laws for the people. The laws should be to protect the lives of the feeble and the weak in society. They should make palliatives. That is a moral task. They should not stay in office with what respect to persons. If you see a government that make law for the rich and not for the weak, they are a bad government. All over the world, government and lands will make laws. What for? For people. For people. They protect the weak and the feeble. They protect the elderly and the aged. They have old people's homes. Am I right? That's a moral task. So when the church is now doing the same, they say we are doing something to complement what they are doing. Government is not a business enterprise. That's why we task our governors. Say, what have you done? President, look at people are dying. Protect your people. Create a, an enabling environment for the economy to blossom. That's why we can challenge them. Because we expect them to be morally higher. Abroad, if a governor spends the money of a state, he will go to jail. Yes or no? My heart is broken. Maybe I will do part one, part two of this message. Morals, battle of the giants. Five ways to know when morals, I'm going to write, read it. If morals is winning in any nation. Five ways, write it down. Number one, tribe, color, race won't matter with right and wrong. The way you know if morals is winning in nation. You can go and sit down, sir. Go and sit down. Clap for them, clap for them. Five ways to know what I if morals are winning and money is not winning. Tribe, race, color won't matter. Right and wrong is bigger than tribe. In Nigeria, if a Igbo man steal money, Igbo man will say, hey, now only I steal, now only I steal, I beg. If Obama steal money is corrupt, Obama will say, hey, the Igbo too steal, the houses are stealing too now, why is only about that catching? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I agree. But did that your brother? Did he steal? So, is he the only one? Uh, uh, Holy Spirit. Did he steal? Yes. Is stealing good? No. Condemn it. Whether it's Yoruba, Ibo, Ausa, condemn stealing. Condemn nepotism. Condemn evil. Stop saying because it's my tribe. It's okay. Our morals are weak. Look at George Floyd. Somebody pressed down his neck. He couldn't breathe. The whole nation rose up. Black, white, Hispanic, Caucasian, Indians, Asians. They all rose up. They say, black lives matter. So if white man dies, white man, white lives matter. That's our point. All lives matter. Matter. Morals. Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to a man. Look at the South African apartheid movement. Rape. Can you tell me any country where rape is not evil? Rape is evil everywhere. Theft is not celebrated anywhere. Killings and murder is not celebrated anywhere. These are issues that are morally wrong and morally should be said to be announced like that. Number two, the way you know a nation where morals are winning are not money. Number two, no special treatment for the rich and mighty. No special treatment for what? There was a guy that was a billionaire. He went to jail in America. Bernard Madoff. Madoff is still in jail. It can never happen in Nigeria. With the billions. Uh, you will buy George, you will buy everybody. Wisdom is above, from above is pure and not partial. Jeffrey Epstein, the guy that was doing child sex, child trafficking, sex trafficking, he, he went to jail and committed suicide. Rich people don't, do not use money to buy freedom in some countries. 
rich people don't use it. But in a country that is morally deficient, the rich always have their way, the poor always suffer. Yes or no? I won't mention the country, you know it. Why are you laughing? You know the country I'm talking about. I didn't mention any country, but you know the country. Number three, law and regulations to protect the weak and feeble. Any country that does not make law and regulations to protect the weak is an immoral nation. Number four, corruption is condemned and despised. Any country that's morally sound always condemns corruption. How many of you know this, and this will make you angry, that the most, the tiger, Asian tigers, the countries in Asia are doing very well economically. They are not Christian nations, but they cannot condone corruption. They, they serve Shintoism, Taoism, all those things they do. Singapore, they are not Christian nations there, but they cannot stand corruption. Yet we are a Christian Muslim nation, and we are thriving in corruption. We have three religions in Nigeria, three. Christianity, Islam, and corruption. We serve corruption. In fact, we have 51% Christians, 49% Muslims, 99% corruption. So most of us serve and worship what? There are the three religions we have in Nigeria. Three religions. Christianity, Islam, and what? Corruption is a religion. Every week, if you don't worship it, you'll be thinking you want to die. Both Christians and Muslims belong to that faith. We have a big problem. We have a big problem. The people must not condone corruption. The clergy should not encourage corruption. We must loathe it. We must fight it. Finally, of course, I said this here. You don't need to be spiritual to be morally sound. You cannot be spiritual and not be morally sound. You don't need to be spiritual to be morally sound. But you cannot be spiritual and not be morally sound. Brethren, let's check our faith again. I don't know who you are. You're watching me from home. Can you please bow your heads to pray? All of us here. And let's ask ourselves the battle of the giants. Morals versus money. Which one is winning? in your life. Check, check. Have you been converted to serve money? You used to be morally sound. Today, you are no longer morally sound. Check your life. Check your life. Ask yourself, which one am I serving? Morals or money? It's important. I pray that this month of July, as we close this year, or start the second half of this year, will become sensitive to the things God is saying to us. Sensitive. God wants us to be morally strong. May God help us all in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for your sons and daughters listening to us here and watching us at home that today, oh God, we will reconsecrate and we will make a fresh covenant to be morally conscious and strong. To not to bow before money and mammon. In the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that we will win more people from money to morals. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. To get more of these videos, just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified once the video is uploaded. Listen to the vlog. I like it to subscribe. Subscribe and guess what? Subscribe again. Thank you very much. I'll see you there.